All right, so today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Closet Tools on your Android device using the Kiwi browser. Um, and so I'm basically going to go through the steps to getting everything installed on my phone, and you should see a video over here uh, that uh, just shows what, what's happening on my phone as I do it. Um, so the first step uh, is actually to install a web browser called Kiwi Browser. And the reason why we do that is because Kiwi Browser supports Chrome extensions, and the primary way of using Closet Tools is a Chrome extension. Um, some other methods uh, don't work as well because you have to load Closet Tools anytime you change the page, whereas with the Chrome extension, um, you can uh, go to a page and it'll automatically pop up on Poshmark, which is pretty convenient. Uh, it's nice having that. So first thing we're going to go to is the Play Store, and we're going to install the Kiwi Browser. So we'll just search for Kiwi Browser, fast and quiet, and then you just hit install. And um, depending on how fast this goes, I might skip ahead, but it might go kind of fast. Eh, looks like it's going reasonably fast. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, and then basically all we're going to do is in Kiwi Browser, we're going to go to uh, the Chrome extension page um, for Closet Tools and then install it and then we're good to go. Okay, cool. So this is uh, installed, and then I'm just going to hit open. And then right away from here, we're going to go to closet.tools slash chrome, and that's the link that's going to take us to the Chrome Web Store to um, add the Chrome extension for Closet Tools. And uh, what we're going to do, you can see it's like almost like in a desktop format. And they do that because if you go to the mobile version of the Chrome Web Store, it like tells you, hey, you need to get a computer to install Chrome extensions, but Kiwi Browser lets you do it. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit this little blue Add to Chrome button. So you hit that, and then you hit OK. And then it says Checking. Boom. It's added. Cool. And so now from there, we'll go to Poshmark.com. Oops, that would help if I went to the right website. Poshmark.com. There we go. <clears throat> and we'll log into our closet. I'm going to log into my wife's closet. in and it should pop up yep there it is it pops up automatically on the page um, and so from there you'll want to log into closet tools Perfect. And then, yeah, from there, you're all logged in, and it's good to go. And if you haven't made an account, you just hit sign up. So you put your email and password in, you hit sign up. Um, and so, like, if you wanted to share your items, you would go to your closet. You just tap your little icon here, and then you hit your closet name. And then that'll take you to your closet. And then for, um, for mobile devices, I typically recommend a setting called background mode. And... Um, Background mode allows you to, it's actually right here. Um, I'll toggle it off and then back on again. Background mode uh, allows you to share items in the background, but it also loads all of your items in the background. Uh, so you don't have to like scroll down the page to, to load all your items. So you can see here, the default, the default number of items loaded is 48. But if I hit share to followers now with background mode on, you'll see it, it loads up. I think my wife has like 100 items. Yeah, 107 available items, and it shares them all in the background. And that's really great for mobile devices. Um, the last thing is, um, one thing you want to do uh, with Closet Tools on Android devices and iOS too, the app has to be in the foreground for it to work. So you can't like switch to another app on your phone and it'll stop. It'll stop working on the background if you do that. Um, so you'll want to keep the screen on. And you can do that. There's some settings in the settings, and it depends on your phone. 
um, but there's ways to get the phone to stay on. Usually it's if it's plugged in or something like that, then the phone's uh, screen will stay on. And, uh, and that will be the best way to use uh, closet tools on an Android device. Um, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or, or anything like that. And uh, 